Hello. It's Wednesday Wisdom Time, and I'm Deborah Leanne, and I'd like to welcome you and welcome you home. Home to yourself, home to that sacred space that is within you. And this last week of May, with the topic being around mother and mothering, I would like to broach the subject of safety. Safety is a huge topic for many women um, around our physical safety, around how far we can go with being our true selves and feeling safe, uh, that we will be heard, that we will not be um, misunderstood, um, that we will be safe in, in holding on to whatever role or relationships or current status quo that we currently believe that we have. And I want to shake up that scenario, that paradigm for you a bit in saying that we are not meant to stay still and stay in a static mode that we are growing evolving human beings and especially women because more women tend to be more in tune with with what's going on behind the scenes um, I don't know if it's the heart opening that naturally comes to us especially when we become mothers but I also believe that we're more in tune with what's going on with Mother Earth, Mother Nature, with our globe, with society, with all the shifts and changes and earthquakes and floods and storms that are going on within us um, being reflected out there in the world. I believe that we're feeling that. And that's a lot of words. And let me apologize and step back and say that I have, I cover up my fears, my insecurities by talking, sometimes too much. And when I don't feel safe about truly sharing what's real for me, I cover it up with my intellect. And I would guess that many of you women do too. So, how can we learn to speak from our innermost true self, from our essence, from our whole self, not just our intellect? And a wise teacher just told me a couple weeks ago that safety is an emotion that we can give to ourselves. So in that fear of sharing something radical or new or something that I think that you may judge me for, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I believe that's what's the most interesting, the most intriguing, and the most connecting for us is when we do feel that authentic, real sense of someone it shines a light and welcomes me in and it allows me, I feel like I have permission now to be real as well. So what if we were to start that, that revolution of being real, of speaking our truth, of standing up for what we believe, of not just closing our eyes and pretending like we don't see something going on, but actually standing up and saying, I don't agree with that. We don't have to tell them they're wrong, but we can just tell them about what's true for us. And if they decide that they want to unfriend us on Facebook 
or not be our friend anymore or choose to look the other way when they see us in a hallway as opposed to connecting again, so be it. So, if you choose to watch these anymore, great. If you don't, that's, I can't stop that. And I'm going to continue to delve deeper in what's real with me, what wants to come forth, so that you can see who I am and maybe want to connect and work with me so that you can dive deeper in a safe place. Because I will hold that safe space for you to play and learn and grow and, and develop more into who you are, to remember more of who you are. So I look forward to connecting. Feel free to book a session with me. You can find that on my Facebook page or on my website. And if not, maybe I'll connect with you at another one of these Wednesday Wisdom videos. Until our next time together, take excellent care of you.